everyone and welcome to another third party toy review. Today I'm having a look at the Junk Planet uh, Smog Out uh, D01. Uh, this is the great little kit that come from our man Maiden Japan. I do like these kits. <laughs> Let's open up the box and take a look. You can see everything comes individually wrapped and already without getting these out I can see they are extremely detailed. You have a very very nice chest piece with nice silvers and that purple is absolutely lovely. It's a lot nicer than when I um, first saw the uh, pics on uh, Meteor Operations. Uh, you've got a very nice waist piece. Again keeping that same purple throughout and using a very very nice silver and a few little uh, highlighted sections there. You have his very very sharp spiky shield and um, using a very bright yellow plugs in nicely again keeping that same red throughout on the spikes. And this spike here actually comes separate and you have to plug it in yourself. This is just spiky, high detailed awesomeness. Let's just focus in. Just look at the detailing on those treads. Very good. Here's weapon. Bright, bright yellow with a lovely grey. And the knee pads. Again, using that same grey and the red. Um, both moulded slightly differently on the back to reflect the said knees on your junkie on. Then have the spiked shoulder plaids using that yellow, the same grey and the red, spiky goodness. And last but not least, you have Swag Out's head. Very nice, very detailed, very, very junky on. <laughs> I do like this head, it's very, very good. Right, so I'm going to be using this guy for the purpose of the review. Just need to cut his head off and take his wheel. Uh, who is this one? Retgar, isn't it? I think it's Retgar or Junk Heap. I think, yeah, it's Retgar. We'll go with that. If I'm wrong, then uh, I'm wrong. Right, with the uh, Retgar headage removed, we can just simply pop on the Smog Out's head. Place on nicely with full articulation. Oh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Um, shoulder pad, peg, pushes on like so, he says. There we go. Nicely, nice and tight. Coming together already. Chest, put the uh, nipple guns into the holes on the chest and just press firmly. Oh, that's on nicely. Now you want to grab his new crotch piece and push that on. Again, fits absolutely spot on. Oh. Uh, the knee section slide over like so, and the other knee like so. You can then pop his shield using the peg on here. Just slides into his groove. Push firmly, and it's in. I grab his weapon, place that in his hand. Like so. There we go. And there we have it. I can't even begin to express my love for this kit. It is an absolutely beautiful piece. It really is. Considering this is one guy doing all these kits, he should really be so proud of himself. These are extremely well made and beautifully hand painted. They look so good. Let's see if I can get that in focus. If you're an army builder and you love your Junkions, you need to get the Maiden kits in your life. You really do. They can change such a bland figure into, well, what are the Junkions? I mean, we all knew the Junkions with their variety and these kits just have so much character. I mean, look at these two together. I mean, how different do they look? What a difference a small kit can make to a figure. And just so you can take a look at this guy on the uh, junk heat mould. 
Ah, I like this. Oh, oh now I regret putting it on that one. Um, yeah, this looks so good. <laughs> um, yeah, they're uh, basically all the good retailers. Uh, if they're anybody, they are selling this kit. I'll pop the links down below in the description there. And make sure you check out the Meteor Operations uh, Facebook page as well. Because uh, this is where I seem to get all of my latest information from. And get to see all the nice and early pics of these awesome figs. Thanks for watching guys. Until next time, take care. Goodbye.